Hey everybody, I am sorry I've been gone for a long time and people have been wondering where I've been in my videos. Well, I've been sick. I haven't been doing too good. I got pretty bad off. Did I, Kara? Yes, it was it was real, real bad. So, you know, I went through a whole lot of stuff. Now I'm better. It's not that stuff that's going around in the country. It's something completely different. Um, it's got to do with the kind of job I do, hauling cattle. However, we are going to show you something today. And look at this, dirty hands. That means work's being done. And if you're worried about the wind turbines, yes, weather's good. We're going to start putting some more of them up. So stay tuned to this. She's going to tell you why we have this one, where those eggs come from. And if you look below the video, she puts the links down. Check them out. It's sources for what you're looking for. And I'll let her explain the rest. Yes, well, we got the Hubbabator Incubator. I have a smaller version somewhere around here. <laughs> and I, that's where I hatched this, this little thing out of. And... Um, it's a, they are very good incubators, high quality. They hatched almost every single egg. And um, it's, a, it's a very nice incubator, very quiet. And we got eggs from, uh, well, we'll just put a description down in the box below. Um, I got this guy from a mix. And uh, turns out it's a Brahma. You can tell. But, yeah, uh, and, she's, and she's got about, what, 30 of them almost? Yeah. So she's been doing this for a little while, but you'd be shocked that you can order fertile eggs and, and look below the video. You'll see what she's talking about. And this, now this is about, how much was it? It was about um, $110. Okay, so about $110. Might be different where you're at due to shipping, um, but I'll let her explain more here. Yes, um, I'll, explain it. I'll explain it here after I put this little guy up. All right, we got the chicken put away. It's time to explain the Hubbard Bader Incubator. Okay. All right, stay tuned. She's going to open this thing up. All right, it's brand new, sealed in the box, and we're going to show you the details. It's like the smaller one she has, but 42 egg capable, which is excellent. All right, while you sit here, that little guy down there complaining, she's going to finish this out. All right. The thing removed from this incubator would be the turner and the floor. And then it would um, be the instructions. And then you would have some shipping. And then it would be the temperature thing. Temperature gauge. Okay. Now what this is, is this is a hydraulic snap action. Mm -hmm. And it comes with all the parts. Now these come in a specialized kit. And the kit, let me see here, it's a bundled item. Okay, so that's why that's why she's putting this link down there for you guys is because you can it's difficult to pick these and the little parts that go with them. But the bundled one bundled, boop, uh, that's a big deal. So what she's got here, go ahead and get the rest of your parts out here. Um, and she has the turner. So this right here is the inky turn, and it has a little motorized component that goes with it. And this thing here has. A, a little arm that will move this back and forth and turn the eggs. And we've got our water trays. It's so over here, what is this? This is, oh, the water tray. It's okay. The water trays, yes. The, you can hardly see that, but let me hold it up to care there. Okay. All right, so explain that one there. Well, they would normally want you to fill up number one, but we're going to fill up number two because we're high altitude. Yeah, we're high altitude and in the high desert. So she'll fill number one and put a little bit in number two yeah. and keep an eye on that. Okay, and that gives moisture. You need to have moisture in there with your eggs because if you don't, their air sacs will dry out and the chicks will die before they ever make it. Yes. And then you have the uh, little thermometer. You're gonna want to put this on top of your eggs. Never put it on the wire rack because it won't it won't read correctly. I'm gonna get this off of here. Nice styrofoam. Peel that off. Mm. Yeah, grab it like that. Thank you, Daddy. All right. So the thermometer, the design of that thermometer is it must lay on top of the eggs. And they give you this little plastic high temperature holder for it to mount on. You see they're stapled in. And when you are dealing with chickens, you want to stay just at the bottom side of that 100 degree mark, about 99.6 or 7 degrees. And in the beginning, you can turn it up to 100 even, but as the 
20, was it 21 days? Yeah, it was It was 21 days, yeah. As the 21 days gets near, so say around 16 days, five days till, you'll, you'll turn it down to about 99 even. So that's because they start building their own heat, and you'll be keeping an eye on that. Okay, now the next thing here is you have a temperature meter with humidity sensor that's in here. You have the fan you have the heating element, and this is extremely low watts. It's about 50 watts, so you don't got to worry about it. It's mounted to styrofoam, but you don't have to worry about that. Um, the other one she has, uh, it's even closer to the styrofoam. It never deformed it, never caused a problem at all. So this over here is your switch that will turn on and off based on your thermostat. And this is the old school style that's extremely accurate. All the rest of them use a digital style that if you have a power failure or if you have the little batteries that's in them go out, your chicks are dead. This is the tried and trusted hydraulic disc. Yep. So this is the one to use. Now, it's a real simple setup. I'm going to go ahead and let her get all of her parts put in there like they belong so she can show you how this works. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, she's got it hooked up, and Kira had the idea to put a kilowatt meter on it. So I'll let her explain how this actually goes together. And it's pretty simple. This is not complicated. And this is her project. I let her build it, and she figured it out really easy. The instructions are amazing on it. So go ahead and tell them what you got. Well, I got my water dish on the bottom, then the egg rack, and then the egg turner. The egg turner is a very nice egg turner. As you can see in the picture, it turns your eggs at a natural rate. Very natural, like a mother hen would do. It doesn't turn them upside down, because when you turn your egg upside down and it's only going this way, that's a very unnatural way to do it. And it results in not very many of your chicks hatching. All right, so over okay. here, this is, the, this is the heart of the system with its power. And she had to go study up what this was. It's old school, so she this has figured out what it is. And, and, right here in this picture. and over here, it gives you really, really simple details. I hope that's not out of focus there. tells you real simple how this works. comes with the thermometer, and this is the old school style. So when, it, uh, when you turn it, it expands from heat, contracts from cold, and it's very accurate. I mean, it's just microscopic movement to control the switch. Uh, it yep. allows you a very accurate temperature range. It moves it about six times a day. Yep. So what do you think about what you got? Is the bundle kit the right way to go? Oh, yeah. It's a very nice kit. Very, very extremely nice kit. All right. So it's probably about the best thing Predator I've ever had. Well, my personal belief, she picked it out. She chewed, Well, she paid for it. I, I don't buy her stuff. She pays for it. And this was a, one of the true blue bonuses for this. Uh, she wanted a hydrometer, and she mm -hmm. wanted me to get her one. And I'm like, well, the kit comes with one. And these are like 20 buck, you know, items, come battery and all. Um, this came with the kit. Didn't add any price to it. That was pretty good. That's a good bundle there. Yeah, so it's really nice. If you don't read Fahrenheit, it's very easy. You can just you can just move it over to Celsius. It has a memory. You can erase the memory. Just what hit is memory. That? Yep, and Celsius clear. it does. All right. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, it has a memory where you can check it for changes. And all you do with them, what does it say? It says to put them in with your eggs. It shows you the rules, basically, on that. But do not that. put it on top of one of your eggs. Yeah, put don't it put it side. on the eggs. So you'd put it, like, you know, somewhere over right here in a space where there's no eggs. And it'll ride on top of that. It's not going to hurt it. Yes, it's a very nice kit. And all it really does is, after you're done putting it together, you'll just, there's two nuts, there's a notch right here on the side and right here where the wire goes through. Perfect. Yeah, uh, you don't, uh, you know, get it caught in anything. And... Put it down like this, and as you can see, oops, there we go. And as you can see, you can see through here perfectly. Give you some uh, view of your chicks. You can even move your head around in there. You can see everything in here. That's kind of nice too, and you can see stand help stand behind it. Huh? See how big it is? That's 42 eggs, and it will not only do 40, it do 42 chicken eggs, and I think it was like 60 quail, yes, and about 30 eggs. duck eggs. So this is pretty good. Look at that, all the things it'll do. And to think that it's only burning, it's burning, not even burning hardly 34 watts. That's excellent. 
And the other one she has burns 60 watts. And um, it's not as nice as this one. Very, very strong. So it'll last you for years. And when you clean these up, you just use a little bit of uh, white vinegar um, in some water. Clean them up. Very little white vinegar, about two ounces to what? Yes. About 32, 32 ounces of water. 32 ounces. The only time you ever use soap on one of these is at the end of hatching season. And yeah, when it's totally over with, but she won't be over with because she is raising chicks. All right, guys, y'all see that? I'm sorry I've been going a long time. I've been working on stuff for these kids and my health. So we're going to do some wind turbine videos coming up and some more solar. Uh, let me give you that over here. We've got huge layout of solar coming up, more of them over here. I have decided I am really liking the Windy Nation panels. I've tested these, and I don't know, made in Canada. See that? I don't know if you can read that. Made in Canada. So I'm sure the cells are Chinese, but they've been impressive. They're putting out more watts than they're sold as, and that's hard to find. No, but so, remember, always put this on top of your eggs. Never put it on the uh, physical ground because it will read incorrectly. Always put this on top of the eggs. Yeah, and they, like I said, it's a little high-temperature plastic. You kind of feel that, and that sets on the eggs, and you read that through the window. Look, put it, put it where you can see it with the window, mm -hmm. and that way... If you have any questions or you think your water's going away too fast, put your little meter that came with the kit right there and make sure it's according to the specs. And they give you the specs for everything yeah, so in even, this. Uh, they even, they even I mean, show you all of, is, the, all of the eggs, what days it takes. This is really amazing. So this tells you everything. This is easy. If you don't know how to do this, man, you sure as hell will by the time this is done. Guys, y'all be good. Kira's got a big project, and you got how many coming? 40 more I eggs? Got, yep, I got about 41. There you go. Y'all watch for it. We're going to show you some results. Coming soon, though, more videos. We ain't dead yet. Nope.